Councillor Zamprogne. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Look, I'm pleased that we appear to be proceeding in a reasonably bipartisan fashion here. And I think it's important to do that on an issue of this importance and observe that there are many more people tuned into our webcast at this exact moment than we would normally ever see in the gallery. And that's just an indication of the interest and concern that's held in the broader community. And it's important for us to be a bit nuanced about this. And what I wanna offer by my, of a contribution is to say that this isn't a, this isn't a, 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 an either or proposition. I wanna emphasize that we can accept some propositions and then, as you've said, Mr. Mayor, state that we have many questions that need to be adequately addressed before we can move forward. So for what it's worth, I mean, you know, I am persuaded through the briefings that we have received that the green route is objectively superior in many ways. Uh, it certainly saves the most travel time. It has the fewest number of major constraints. Uh, it has a superior cost benefit uh, ratio than the purple route, for example. It certainly, uh, in terms of the modeling, will draw more traffic away from the congested current route. And, uh, and I know this point is arguable, will have a lesser impact on the landscape, both uh, ecologically and in terms of heritage and in terms of Aboriginal uh, heritage than the purple route. But I can see that that's currently a point of contention. But the thing is, I also think that you can concede the uh, argument on those points and at the same time state that council has every right to be very pointed and quite assertive in its submission on behalf of our community for the following reasons. I agree that there are significant unanswered questions relating to the emphasis that's been placed on flood resilience. All you need to do is see the route that's been favoured and then where the flood waters encroach. And you can see that, that, that it, it doesn't make sense from that perspective unless there's a commitment to significantly elevate that route. And considering that we have an elevated flood evacuation route in the form of the Jim Anderson Bridge, and given the kind of money that's being offered, I can't imagine why we can't get a similar outcome. I don't know why we can't get an outcome where that spaghetti junction of Currajong Road, Old Currajong Road and Yarramundi Lane can't be elevated or a flyover, not only to fix the congestion issues that will occur there in the future, but also to improve the flood resilience. I think that there are significant unanswered questions about the impact of people on Southie Road and Innals Lane. I think there are unanswered questions relating to the impact of the climate change research facility, but I'll correct uh, Councillor, I can't remember which colleague it was that, that made this point that we need to be concerned about whether they were adequately consulted. Our job is to, in, is to put in a submission about uh, the issues that are important to us. Western Sydney University are perfectly free to make their own submission about uh, any concerns that they have. This is why it is called a consultation process. We don't need to take that on on, on their behalf. I have no problem with us being more or less route agnostic. I have no problem with leaving the yellow route or a hybrid route on the table at this point. And most critically, I think that we are quite correct in um, asking the question whether the entire consideration is completely upended if ultimately the Gross River Bridge is further delayed or potentially cancelled. Not that I would wish that outcome, but if the modelling and the viability of a particular route uh, is based solely on the expectation that the Gross River Bridge will be completed and within a particular time frame. sadly, we have to report to them that we're not sure that that's what's going to occur and that that might alter the consideration uh, significantly. So for that reason, I'm pleased at the way uh, we've done this in a collaborative spirit and I'm happy to endorse what's before us at the moment. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.